Thank you very much, D-Man. And to talk about the changes to League and how it's actually affected their respective teams, we are joined by Team Solo Mids Special, and of course, Team Alternates are on air. Welcome to Europe, guys. Thank you very much. Well, let's start this one off. 3.14. I really want to know how each of your specific teams has actually adapted to, you know, the patch adapted to the game. Let's start with the special. How has TSM approached 3.14? Well, with 3.14, we had a pretty big, uh, I mean, we had a new roster. I mean, we had uh, Bjergsen coming over, uh, taking over Reginald's role, and we lost our shot caller, and we had to adjust to a new patch. It was really difficult. We actually were not doing well in scrims for the first part, but after playing a lot of solo queue and just figuring out the patch, and then playing a lot of scrims as a team, we've really meshed together, and we're really liking 3.14. What about yourself, an alternate? Well, after Gamescom, we had like holidays for like two months, something like that. So I, I was like studying and we were like focusing on other, like, other stuff, like real life. And after that, I felt so bad playing League of Legends again. I, I feel like I had to play so much solo queue to be again on the on the shape to, to the LCS and stuff. And after that, we are like uh, pretty good right now. We do uh, another change as well. Uh, we changed uh, for Lore for Kerb on mid lane. Yeah. And now Kevin, the SK Kevin is playing for us in top lane and it's working really good. So you mentioned you know, learning the patch, adapting to the patch. What's more important for, for TSM? Uh, theory crafting, away from the game, looking at the numbers, solo queue or scrims? I mean, how do you actually break it down? How do you analyze and adapt? I think theory crafting is important, but the most important thing is putting it into practice. I think solo queue is the biggest thing. We played more than probably like 60 or 70% of solo queue, and we adjust a new patch. We see you know, nine other players playing on this new patch too, and they're also good at the game. And that's the quickest way for us to learn. And then after the, that, we apply that in scrims. Is it the same in EU? No, I mean, for <laughs> us, it's like, it's so different for us. It's like, we, if we want to try something, we don't even try in solo queue. We just uh, play in, in scrim. Like, we try to play against uh, really good teams. We try to play, like, new champions or new strategies, like, uh, going uh, different uh, lanes and stuff, but only, only in a scrims. Like, for us, solo queue doesn't mean anything. Okay, so let me extrapolate on this about why is it that it's more for scrims for alternate? Is it because solo queue and scrims are so different? Or, you know, what's the reasoning behind that? I don't know, I just, we just feel like in a scrim, we, you, you don't have the communication with the, with the other guys, so it's, it's not team play at all. And the difference between a team play of a scrim and the team play you have on solo queue is, is so huge that you can't really like say, hey, in solo queue this work out, uh, let's, play, uh, let's play it in, in, in a scrim and it won't work out. It doesn't feel like this. It's like, you have to play it on Scream. If it works on Scream, then we'll play on LCS. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Uh, Expression, from your point of view, there was a lot of changes to the support role, uh, maybe more so to support role than any other lane. But we haven't seen a drastic shift in gameplay style. We're seeing now Annie's and Karma's, but there were always fringe picks. Is there going to be more drastic changes? Are we still sticking to the norm? Why hasn't it been as explosive as a lot of people were sort of predicting going into 3.14? Right now, with Annie, Thresh, and Terra kind of being the three strongest supports, it's kind of just crowding out all the other supports. And once those champions do get slight nerfs, slight tweaks, we're going to see a lot more of the different picks. It's just right now, too many, like those three champions are just so much better than the other ones that it's just completely shutting down any new supports. Very quickly, do you think we would see like Morgana supports, LeBlanc supports? Do you think this is a possibility in the coming months? I think that's definitely the goal with Riot and definitely the goal of the players. I mean, they want to run these new supports, but they need to be able to run it without having the other three top supports just being in Crushing. Them up. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And what about the jungle roll, Onya? As the final question now, talk to me 3.14, that with this new items, new gold generating items. Uh, how has it affected your gameplay and, and are there any changes? Well, I think the biggest change on jungle is probably the warding stuff. Like right now, everyone has a trinket, everyone has a warding lane. So it's really hard to gank a lane. You have to be like pretty sure that they don't have a ward, that is not warded, and you can take a good path to gank and make a successful gank. If your gank is not successful, you're going to be behind. The enemy jungle is going to keep jungling and jungling, and he will, be, he will be at level than you. And that makes him to be like doing drakes or doing more plays than you. Uh, that's really hard. Uh, and also, like, the, the invisible thingy of Evelyn is also a, a big change. I think the, the, um, right now there is no oracles, only penguins, and they are visible. So Evelyn and, and the invisible champion are really strong in this metagame. All right, please make RNA's ganks a little more powerful, is, is the story here. Guys, we do please. have to take a very quick break, and we have to let all of that knowledge soak in. But when we return, it is time for the first match.